How many of you would be interested if I gave you some simple steps to resolve no power, no post, no boot and no video issue on your computer? Hi, my name is Sibin and I am the proprietor and founder of Trinity Computer Solutions. Most of us have a computer at home or at office and we might have come across a situation when the computer does not have anything at all on the display while pressing the power button. When we talk about no display, we will also have to understand four important terms no power, no post, no boot and no video. Does these sound familiar? Let's dig deep in and find out what do these four terms stand for and how to resolve an issue. Firstly, no power. In a no power situation, when you press the power button of your laptop or a PC, you will absolutely have no lights coming up on the system. It could be the laptop light or the light on your monitor or even the light on your CPU. On a laptop, the first thing you try when you encounter a no power situation is you disconnect the charger from the system, disconnect the battery from the system, drain the free power by pressing and holding the power button down for 15 to 20 seconds. Connect the battery alone and the charger alone and see if there are any lights by connecting them individually. We will get to know if the battery is a failure or if the charger is a failure for not supplying power to the laptop. If both the steps are not working, then try connecting a different charger or a different battery of a similar model. If it still doesn't work, then it could be something internal got to do with your board. Similarly, on your desktop, you unplug the power cable from the CPU, release the flea power, swap with a different power cable and try different power sockets. If this still doesn't work out, it could be an issue with your computer power supply which is also the SMPS or your board as well. Second is no post. In this scenario, the computer power lights will come on either on your laptop or your CPU. However, the computer does not respond to anything and you will not get any display on the system. The first thing a computer does after receiving power is to check if all the major components like the board, the processor, RAM, keyboard or any critical components are working good. So if any of these components fail on a computer, then the computer will not complete post. In this scenario, there is very little you can do from your end. However, you could always try to identify if there's any beep codes from your laptop or your PC or if you have any blinking lights emitted from the system a simple step you can try is removing and reseating the RAM if you're getting beep codes or blinking lights you could always get onto the website and see what these codes mean try different slot put these memory in a different slot put the RAM in a different slot try with a different RAM all these other methods or steps that you could always try easiest method to identify if your computer is completing the stage of post is by toggling your caps lock or your num lock keys on your keyboard if the lights come on and off it means that the computer is completing post third is no video after the computer receives power and after it has checked and ensured working of all critical components the next step is to display content on the screen or monitor if you feel that the computer's num lock or the caps lock is working but you still do not have display it clearly means that the computer's monitor or screen may not be working or could be the cables this can be caused because of a bad display cable bad resolution of the system settings or can also be caused because of a bad screen or display or even something wrong with the graphics card you can try connecting to a different monitor or a different tv you could also try connecting a different cable you can try getting into safe mode and see if it works fine there fourth is no boot this is a scenario where the computer receives power all the necessary hardware components work but it still does not give your login screen because of a boot failure this can be caused because of an operating system error or a bad hard drive or any other boot issues Remember that your hard drive failure will not be recognized in step number two or three, which is no post or no video. You will get to know that only in this stage. To resolve this problem, you need to choose repair options of the operating system you are using. Or you can also boot through a bootable pen drive or a bootable CD and try to repair your boot sector. Also check if your hard drive is detected properly by the system. You may want to consider swapping the hard drive cables as well. Now these are the four important and critical steps to identify and solve a problem with your computer not working or no display. 
for some of you these informations might be too difficult to perform please put your challenges in the comments below and we will help you with them we also would like to hear from you your comments if these steps worked or not follow our page and tag your friends whom you feel this might be helpful this is Sibin signing off see you in my next video thank you